In this week's episode, we are finally getting to the bottom of who the real queen of Christmas is. And we have a new word on the street. All that and more coming right up. Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And before we get into it, make sure you hit subscribe on our channel. It helps the show grow. And leave comments. We love it. Here to report the Mariah Carey news yes. of the week. Mm -hmm. You know, things to catch up on. We're back in the court system, or out of the court system. Paperwork has been filed, denied, mm -hmm. allegedly, withdrawn, exactly. all kinds of things. Mariah's on yes. the charts. Exactly. All for Christmas is on the charts. And I saw the Christmas book in the wilderness. Oh, finally in the wild with my eyes yes yes okay yes. well i want to hear all about it because i haven't i haven't been to the store yet i know well i happened to be walking by so i went and had a look but oh. we also have a word on the street it's like a retroactive word on the street but i think <laughs> you know the people would like to know i want to know the word on What's the street up? i don't even have this word on the street this week so i'm excited <laughs> yeah. for that but can we get started with the little Christmas princess? Because what yes. I did see, I haven't seen it in the store, but I, what I did see over there on the social medias is that Target had like a display for it. Did you see it? No, but now <laughs> I remember the crime report that we were just talking about in Patreon <laughs> when you said Target. Oh no, there's a crime report at Target? Oh, there was, there was a shooting at Target in downtown LA. Oh, that's right. I did hear about that in the headline. That's what I was going to bring up in Patreon. Uh, girl, we be getting into all kinds of stories over there on Patreon. We don't even know. <laughs> but it's a good time. It's a good time. Okay, but you saw that Target has a display for yeah, the Mariah Christmas had, book. Like, they had like the book. On, they had, Obviously, they're selling the book because somebody took a picture of this. They have like screens over there. Oh, the yeah. Wall, and they had the Christmas princess on the screen, like the book cover. Oh, I it didn't was see super that. Super cute. Yeah. So I is it like the cardboard box display? No, it was on a well? screen. It was just on a just screen. Just screen each. Okay, great. That's yeah. progress. Yeah. Progress. We're getting somewhere. Exactly. Yes. With I, the target. I forgot to like take a snapshot of that. I think it was okay. one of our lamb followers or listeners. I think it may have been Andrew. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Good to know. Yeah. Yay. Now, okay. Scope. Now, see, the thing is, like, we spent all last year saying, well, don't bother going to Target. It's not there. But now, now we can report, yes. <laughs> go to Target. I saw it on, on, in the pictures. Okay, yeah. good to know. Well, I went, I was walking by the Barnes & Noble here in New York, and I thought, let me just dip in and check it out. Searching the store everywhere. I'm like, okay, where is this thing? It's not here. You're, Great. You're just not used to going to the children's section. <laughs> I was like, of course, it's in the kids section, which I never, ever go into. <laughs> so I see the kids section. I was like, oh, it must be in there, of course. There it is on the shelf, like eye level to everybody with all these other books. Um, look, you know, displayed perfectly. It's a super cute book. I finally got to see it with my eyeballs. Look at all the pictures. It's really well done. The story's written really well. There's like, it's rhyming. So it feels like there's more of a Mariah influence uh, in mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. I, I guess it's more, you know, it's more musical, I guess, to read it. Uh, so yeah, grab yourself a copy. It's super cute. Yes, yes, at your local bookstore or your Target, wherever it may right. be. Right. Yes. Oh my God! Now I feel out. I want to go to a Target like right now. Like, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> no, don't. It's late. It's dangerous. Oh, oh, honey, the shootings! My goodness! No, 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 no! Not at Watch all. Watch out. Mm -hmm. oh, we love the Christmas Princess. Mariah has been posting like little animated cartoons of, of like the stuff on yes. social media. I'm like, girl, yes. I want a whole movie of this now. Yes. I want I all of it. Please. Give I know. Me I know. I know. It's super cute. And she'll, she's doing like little voiceovers for it and everything. Ah, yes. Love it. Cute. It's great. Cute, cute. Loving all the promo. Yes. All the videos and stuff. Okay. So, but when I was reading the book in the shop, as I'm going through it, I'm seeing the words Queen of Christmas printed in the book. Uh-huh. So now my mind is ticking, okay, maybe this is making sense why the trademark was happening just so we can check if it's available, if somebody else has already trademarked it. Mm -hmm. Should we get ahead of any issues in the future and just trademark it now so nobody else does it and now they're suing me retroactively? Right. When we're, comes, we're just testing it out the waters. Right. When it comes to business, when you're a big name like Mariah, you have to trademark a lot of things. Mariah's mm -hmm. not out here trying to say, oh, I'm the queen of everything. I'm the queen of Christmas. It's more of like, this is like a product 
that mm-hmm. I have and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's it's yeah. and it's really not that deep. Mariah's filed a million trademarks. She's probably not gotten a million trademarks before. You know, it's mm-hmm. it, it's just a part of rich people business. Yes. That's just what you do. Because if you don't, Joe Schmo can go and trademark Queen of Christmas and then say, Mariah, you need to either change the book or pay me a portion of the proceeds of the, of the profit. Exactly. They get all kind of crazy over things and it's just, it's ridiculous. So, but right. that seems to be the biggest headline of the week this week. And it's just, so why is this being picked up by every news outlet? Why are magazines like Variety interviewing these people we've never heard of who claim they're mm-hmm. the Queen of Christmas? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just for Twitter moments. Oh, they want their That's 15 minutes of fame. Go ahead, get it. Because mm-hmm. next year, no one will be talking about you. Exactly. Okay, so go ahead. Give your little interviews. Give your little sound bites. Give your little quotes here and there and everything. But yeah. we're going to be over here knowing who the real Queen of Christmas is. Mariah. Right. We, don't need, we don't need a trademark. No. No trademark needed for Mariah. No. no none of it. None of it. Exactly. Um. But so yeah. now we know what's happened with that. But <clears throat> while we're in the court report, we also didn't mention last week or should catch up on the fact that a few months ago in Louisiana, a man, another unknown man, filed a claim that Mariah, a copyright claim, I guess, that he also has a song called All I Want For Christmas Is You and was going to sue. But that also has been tossed out. Right. I actually, I think the man withdrew it. Oh, withdrew I withdrew it. it. Yeah, I think his lawyers like voluntarily withdrew it, which goes back to the point of what Mariah and the trademark was. Mariah's right. lawyers withdrew their request. It yeah. was like all the headlines are like, "Oh, Mariah is denied Rejected. The trademark." Mm-hmm. Rejected. No, mm-hmm. it's actually, that's not what happened. Let's get, but that doesn't sell papers. That doesn't get clicks. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, know, you have to tell, oh, Mariah was rejected. No, she actually withdrew it because she knows she yes. doesn't need it. And you also have to like <clears throat> um, pit women against each other, create drama. Right. And it's ridiculous. It's nonsensical. Mm-hmm. But then, mm-hmm. of course, we have Darlene Love, who is still just yap, yap, yapping over here. And she's like, um, you know, always posting things. It's like, girl, just be quiet. Just be I know. quiet. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. It's fine. Listen, we have our Christmas special coming up to look forward to. Yeah, I don't everyone's going. Any everyone's going to be talking about it out here with Christmas specials, streaming exactly. on Paramount Plus, at Madison TV. Square Garden. Madison Square Garden sold out. Toronto, yes. worldwide, yeah. global. I know. I know. I don't see Darlene she, doing all that. No. Mm-hmm. No, none of it. So whatever. Mm-hmm. It's all exactly. done. We're moving on. Uh, we've been moved on. Miss Darlene <laughs> better get, <laughs> get, <laughs> get her hands off that keyboard <laughs> and stop chiming in. I know. <laughs> and then uh, the other woman was over there talking to uh, Elizabeth Chan, was talking to Variety about it. And I'm just like, girl, mm-hmm. nobody knows you. And like, literally, they never will. Mm-hmm. But, and so mm-hmm. you have fun, girl. Exactly. Listen, good luck to them. Good luck. I wish I wish them well. Yeah, <laughs> wish them well. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that was that was like the big headline of all the week. But for me, I feel like we got a little snapshot of Mariah, mm. like backstage doing something. That was the highlight of my week. Miss Mariah is looking stunning, gorgeous, I know. big time, L- luxurious. It's giving me um, maybe a little bit of Chantus or my hashtag beautiful era and butterfly era had a baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big and hair. It's current day Mariah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. She did a photo shoot back in like 95 or 96 with like the very same sort of hairstyle. So it's like giving me those moments. But like, like the big hair. Oh, the big God, hair works. She just looks gorgeous. Mm-hmm. This whole Looking sort good. of like Christmas era. Yes. Phenomenal. The pre, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> well, are we even in? Are we in an era right now? We're in. We are in two. Just like a regular two era. It's yeah. Like good looking era is what we're just in. <laughs> yet to be named era. Yeah, because everything she's doing is just great. Like everything is on point. 
mm-hmm. very well planned. The promotion is good. Mm-hmm. Um, so when I saw that picture, now the picture was posted by a makeup artist that uh, did the makeup. We don't know what this is for yet, but I'm sure it's for something promotional that we'll see in the future. Right. It looked like a backstage TV yeah. moment, maybe? Mm-hmm. Could be, or she's just filming something. Right. Or taking photos for something, but she was yeah. um, there. Danielle Priano did the hair. Mm-hmm. Um, and the makeup artist, uh, I forget his name, but he does a lot of Christina Aguilera. Mm-hmm. And he does mm-hmm. um, a lot of Chris Jenner. Because I looked at mm-hmm. um, I looked at um, the Instagram. You know, you always got to stalk on the Instagram, girl. Right, right, right. You know, that's like the similar <coughs> circle. Christopher Buckle does Christina Aguilera too. So you know, they right. trade notes. Oh yeah, for sure. Like here's how you do it. Mm-hmm. Here are the instructions. You know, maybe Can Christopher had something else to do that day. Yes, because I'm over here with Lindsay Lohan. Yes, and yes. Mariah needs her makeup done. So like, you send in like your referral. And Mariah, exactly. like, has a level of trust. Be like, okay, he could do it. Right. You know, Chris. so Christopher would never send Mariah anybody who couldn't do it. Because she looked Well, great. he did a great job. She looked great. Yes. Fabulous. Can't no wait complaints. to see what it's for. I really can't. Well, as you were talking, in my mind, maybe, um, like, videos, talk to camera video moments for the TV special? Probably, Yes. Because, again, we were talking last week about, like, what is going to fill up an hour and 42 minutes. Mm -hmm. The show, the concert is not an hour and 42 minutes. So she's probably filming pre-taped sort of packages um, to insert into the CBS special. So that's probably Mm -hmm. something uh, related to that, which is great. She looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. I agree. A different look for her. I think, too, fashion-wise, because she was all black with the mesh top. Mm-hmm. I think that was a Prada, a, a Prada mesh top. It was. Um, it great. No, it, because it is good because we've been seeing Mariah, and this is why we do love a Danielle moment. Danielle's going to give her different hairstyles because for the longest mm-hmm. time, we were just seeing Mariah with waves down, everything's down, mm-hmm. hair is down, hair is gorgeous, mm-hmm. but it's down. Hair is phenomenal, <laughs> but it's down. This mm-hmm. is like an up. We like an up. It is up. <laughs> we like up and big. So, yes, I love Mariah in a high pony. Yes. Can't yeah. go wrong. Yeah. So, I like it. I like the look. It was giving sort of like Honey era vibes. Honey video. Um. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. It was giving me more of like the Nightmare era Honey performance. At the beginning. It was a little, was well, a little yeah, that. we're in the same direction. We're in the same direction. <laughs> a little that, but like better. <laughs> yes. We're both in the honey space. Yes. Head space. All, it is very honey. So, it, but it's good. <laughs> this is good. Uh, good, good. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we love it. I'm glad we get these little sneak peeks because now we know that like Mariah, she's out here heavy at work. So she's probably trying to get all this Christmas stuff taped before mm-hmm. Thanksgiving, you know? Mm-hmm. And then exactly. in December, she can just focus on the shows. And editing it and together. all of that kind of stuff. And then she'll yes. be over in Aspen, I'm sure. Oh, for sure. So, yes, we got things coming. Yes, got indeed. Yes, coming. indeed. Yes. Um, but outside of those things, it's just really the season of this era is the All I Want for Christmas era because the song is doing amazing. It's already taken off on the charts. People are streaming it already. It's doing well. It's popping back up, bubbling under. I think it's going to make some big jumps next week up into the top 50, top 100, maybe. So, uh, you know, yeah, stay for tuned. sure. Um, it's going to be, there's, I mean, it's already going to be top before we know it. Exactly. It's season. Do we think it's going number one? Absolutely. It must, because remember we have that math whiz that listens, who sent in the stats last year. Mm-hmm. It'll be number one. It looks like it's looks like it's coming together. So yeah, we expect more number one action from that Definitely. song. Definitely, because I know like um, on the social media, you always see like people will post like the Spotify numbers, mm-hmm. and they'll do like you know last year at this time it was here, and this year it's like already streaming over a million a day which is like, mm-hmm. you know, 500,000 more streams than this time last year. So, girl, it's growing. It's a beast. 
Who are these people? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> but that's fine. They can keep streaming. <laughs> I know. I'm not complaining. I'm just like, who is doing that? Yeah. No. I, like I was saying the other week, I, I've been listening to the Apple TV Christmas special. So when I listen mm. to All I Want for Christmas or Joy to the World or Sleigh Ride, I'm, uh, that's my Christmas album this year. Same. Like, I've been like good was, dipping into that. I was sleeping on it for the last two years. I wasn't really listening um, to it. Let me think. Was I sleeping on it? I played it a bunch of times around the holiday season. Yeah. I mean, because so I do like I, that version of All I Want. I'd like that version of it. All the versions of, are, I like all the versions. Like, I'm like, mm-hmm. girl, why haven't I been listening to this nonstop? I'm over here at the 25th anniversary edition. Merry Christmas to you. I'm like, girl, yes. I just listen to the Apple TV one. And the Apple what? TV one is, is like a best of the two. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. And all new vocals. Yes, new vocals. So I'm like, I'm just going to stick to this one. It's good. It, yeah, it, it deserves a revisit. Many revisits. I was to mm-hmm. it multiple times. <laughs> yes, yes. Very, very much on heavy rotation. Um, um, well, speaking of revisits, are we, are we, uh, st- fin- have we finished the uh, All I Want news? I think so. I mean, it's just doing really, really well on the charts. Right. And I guess we just are, need to track it. Yeah. Keep tracking it. It's going to pop Absolutely. off again. Such, still such a bizarre phenomenon to me. Like, after all this time, oh, I mean, now it's just, like, unstoppable. Because like a snowball. nobody's done something like this before. I know. You know, even if you look at things like songs, like thematic songs or, like, seasonal songs, like Thriller from Michael Jackson. Like, people listen mm-hmm. to that during Halloween all the time, but it never mm-hmm. reaches these types of heights on the charts, right. you know? Right, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and the album is doing well, too. I think the album, uh, Merry Christmas album, is already on the top 200 chart. Mm-hmm. So, and she's doing all, people think it's just the song. Oh, it's the whole album. Right. People That's are just album. catching on now. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, you know, it's the Christmas season. It's Mariah, she really is... Yeah, I guess, like, do you ever, like, we were annoyed when she was all Christmas, 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 like, the last five, six years? Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, oh, I guess it worked. Yeah. (laughs) It paid off. Yeah, Yeah, honey, uh, here we go. Here we go. It's just Uh that we've never seen anybody, like, take over, like, a season before. So that's why Mm -hmm. I feel like it's so weird, but, like, we love it. Mm -hmm. We love it. We're taking it. We do, yes. Because she's the queen of Christmas. We're on board now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, well, speaking of things from the past, so you know how Millie Bobby Brown uh, was on Fallon and it sort of brought up the conversation of chick? Uh-huh. So I got a word on the street. Okay, tell me. Now I'm interested. What's going on? Okay. No, no, fut- it's actually a retro word on the street. Okay. That's, that's already happened. <laughs> I, we dug it up out of the, <laughs> out, off the sidewalk. So apparently, so you know when it all got revealed that chick was a thing? And then it was uh, there was those two music videos mm-hmm. that had been filmed uh, with Clarissa, right? Her name, yeah. Clarissa, as the lead vocal. Uh huh. So apparently, some of those scenes in the Malibu video, there's some scenes where I guess they're by a pool. Uh huh. Yeah. So that was filmed in upstate New York, and the word on the street is a friend of someone who a friend of a friend was working at that pool at the time when it was getting filmed and said that when that was going down, Mariah was there and was directing the music video. Oh. Yes. Well, that totally makes sense because she was in the directorial um, mode. Right. Yes, doing the fantasy video and stuff. Uh Uh-huh. 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 So she was behind the scenes involved with that music video. Makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense, yes. And apparently Tommy Mottolo showed up on the set. He was knew about he knew about it, wasn't well, it like yeah, a big yeah. secret? Oh wow. Um so yeah, so Mariah directing directing music videos. Girl secretly. She can do it all. She can do right. it all. Right. As right. long as she got a paycheck, girl. She got a paycheck. Oh she, she must have check. Did you pay yourself, girl? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe she was like practicing how to do it for the fantasy video. I'm well, not sure of the sure. timeline. Yeah, like giving it like, you know, 
uh, interning. After run. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. that's what was up. She was involved with the music video for Malibu. Is Love it, it called Malibu? Yeah, yes. Song. From Chick. Mm-hmm. From someone's ugly daughter. From someone's ugly daughter. I'm exactly. always like chick. What someone's ugly dot chick? <laughs> chick is the band, right? The band. Okay, chick's the band. Yeah. So chick was filming a music video. <laughs> Mariah directed it. Got it. <laughs> That's the story. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, I love when people have a little behind the scenes information. You know. But now the more I think about it, okay, if she was there directing a whole music video, it never leaked, never got out. Well, but that's because it was back in the day, girl. Right. You know, they didn't have social media. People didn't have a, a camera in their pocket. Be like, yeah. oh, look at Mariah. Like, you know, whoever was working at that pool, uh-huh. if, if he had a camera in his pocket, he would have been snapping pictures and putting true, it on Twitter. True. Yes. So yes. Like, it was it was so much easier to keep things under wraps back in the day. I guess. You yeah. know. But nowadays, like everybody knows everything all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, pretty much. So you see someone exactly. out in the street, you're snapping a photo of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's, we come? that was it. That's the word on the street. <laughs> there we <laughs> now have. Now we know more information <laughs> about chick. Yes, all the all the all the more information, the better. We'll take right. It. Well, I think in my mind, like once I read the book and and it was discussed about the whole chick movement, it seemed like the album was just handed off and they had to deal with it. I didn't realize she was still involved with the creation of it all. Yeah. Well, it makes sense, though. Everything, mm-hmm. it's, yeah. You know Mariah, she wants to have her hand in everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Um, in so, sort of, like, other Mariah-adjacent news, mm. um, you know how she was in that little commercial for the soccer football thing? Yes. Um, and we're like, oh, maybe she's going to be performing or whatnot. Well, apparently they released the names of the people who are performing. Mm-hmm. Um, Shakira. And BTS. Mm-hmm. And so they're going to be doing all of that. But then apparently, she, so Mariah's not. She's not going to be there. But um, Shakira dropped out. Mm-hmm. Surrounding all the drama. The drama. I think somebody else dropped out and made a comment. Maybe like Rod Stewart or someone. Okay, <laughs> like, well, he well if he makes it over there on that long-ass flight. I know. Maybe, I think it was him. Some guy <laughs> dropped out <laughs> of it. Because the issue is with some of those Middle East countries like Qatar is that the women's rights are horrendous Mm -hmm. and LGBTQ rights are horrendous. Yeah. Um, So it's a controversy to take that money. It is. And you know what? I don't know, but I feel like, I feel like there's a documentary about this on Netflix, but don't quote me on that. But I was like, Oh, is that a, it's about like how the, how the FIFA, is that what it's Mm -hmm. called? is like embroiled in all kinds of scandals as well. Oh, yes, yes. It's the total mission itself. Total scandal. Let alone them doing it in Qatar. Yes, the whole thing is a scandal. Oh, yes, the whole organization. But like, that, again, that doesn't surprise me because that all Funny. these organizations are a scandal. Yeah. Don't get me started on the Grammys or Ticketmaster. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. That's for the Patreon talk over there. That's if you want the ticket master talk, yeah. <laughs> you get the full <laughs> breakdown of um our Grammy talk about the nominations that were just announced over there on patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. Yes, check the link, click the link in the description. You can see all the content that's available. It's five bucks to join up. It supports the podcast, it supports me and Dan. There's bills to pay over here at the Mariah Report, so it helps out with that. And it's actually a fun time. We read the comments, crime reports. Ticketmaster reports, <laughs> the scam the reports, all of that. Yes, 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 exactly. And you help the show out. And if you want to help this show out for free, we, we would love it if you left a review on Apple Podcasts. That really helps the show grow. Or even just hit the five stars. That's what makes a big impact as well. Um, Apple cha- Apple counts reviews and the star ratings and listens for the charts. So all those three things combined helps us out. All of that matters. And if you're watching us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, the like, and leave a comment. Love the comments. We love a comment. The comments over there on YouTube, girl. Yes. Love them. I know. But the subscribe is most important because, again, helps the channel grow. Other people can find us and, you know, keep things running. All around good. All around good. 
That's what we want for Christmas. Yes. Is a, <laughs> one of those things. <laughs> Please. Absolutely. Um, and you know what, Mariah, uh, speaking of good things, there have been more certifications for Mariah um, this year. Remember, we just got like some uh, RIAA certifications for Mariah a few months ago. Yes. Um, a few weeks ago, actually. And it made her like the highest selling U.S. female artist. Like it put her above Barbra Streisand. Mm-hmm. And um, they just released, I believe this week, just the, uh, the today. Um, she's over there. Now, um, I Don't Want to Cry and Can't Let Go are both gold certified. My mm. all is two times platinum. Mm. Platinum. And the number okay. one album is six times platinum. Okay, good. Do we love that? Love. <laughs> Just More things to hang on the wall. It's the, number, it's the numbers. It's all about the numbers. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Yay for my all. She deserves it. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I love my all, but I love specific performances of my all. Like the album version is, you know, it's cute. I listen to it, but like the general public love my all. Yeah, they, they love. love it. So I'm surprised uh -huh. it's not like three or four times platinum. Right. Well, maybe it's a slow grower, like all I want for Christmas. All right. Well, 27 years later. <laughs> but we'll take yeah. it. We will take I know, it. I because I'm not playing, I'm, again, I'm not playing the album version. I'm playing the Rosie Live version. Oh, exactly. Oh, I'm, honey, I'm playing the Saturday Night Live version. I'm playing all the live versions. Mm -hmm. Some of these songs are just, and honestly, with I Don't Want to Cry, I don't listen to the album version. I listen to the Tokyo Dome version. It's mm. amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm a live version kind of gal here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, tell us, listeners, what's your favorite My All live version? Or is it the album version? Maybe people like the album yeah, version. Yeah, or the better. remix version. Because, you know, My All Stay a While, don't get me started. Oh, that's where I've been hanging out. Oh. That's where I've been hanging out. I've been hanging out on YouTube watching the performance. <laughs> From the Soul oh, Train that's story. good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say... If we've ever talked about that performance, but... Did we not? I think we did in the Butterfly did Saga. In like, you know, some my all back in I was going to say, I do listen to the album version when I watch the music video. That's where it gets mm -hmm. comes into the factor. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But Because that's a good oh, video. It's beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I love that my all stay a while performance. Mm -hmm. Girl, she looked good. She was dancing. The leather pants. Oh, my. Gorgeous. All yeah. of it. All of it. So, yes. Big ups to my all. <laughs> well, I think that just about wraps it up for the week. We've covered the Mariah News. We gave you a little history lesson. Um, and um, it's Christmas season. So, here we go, guys. Here it is. So, next week is a holiday here in America. It's Thanksgiving. So, me and Dan are taking the week off. If you're a Patreon member, you're going to get a little bonus episode from us over there. Uh, but we'll see you after Thanksgiving. So have a happy holiday, everybody. Stay safe. Stay off the streets, away from the crime. <laughs> yes. Stay at home with your family. Get, get the turkey, whatever y'all do. And uh, get ready you know, for full-on Mariah season. It'll be official when we come back. Mm -hmm. Mariah season. Yes. So I'm All right. there's good things coming. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for listening. Leave us a comment. Leave us a review. And we'll see you soon. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Reezy Beat. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app. <laughs>